Hey everybody, this is Julia with Julia's Trucking Cafe. This is one going to be my first video, so I'll have to do a lot of editing on it, for cooking in your truck. So I'm going to show you the basic utensils and appliances that I'm using today, and I'm going to be cooking myself French toast for breakfast because I'm in Dodge City, Kansas, and there really is no place to park. I'm waiting on a load. So here we have uh, electric... Um, hot plate that I bought from Walmart and you see there's the different t dial on the front with the different temperatures I do not connect this to my surge protector here I connect it right into the wall and you'll have to excuse my little bit of a mess I also have a skillet there again I purchased everything from Walmart that I set on here and you notice how I have my table set, set out right here I have this far away there's Kinsey say hi Kinsey she's my trucking buddy you'll hear her squeak at her toy because she doesn't like me talking so I purchased everything from Walmart and um, this is that um, pioneer woman frying pan Teflon frying pan I also purchased myself some Pyrex bowls and I saved the cardboard inserts that go with them. So I'm going to be using this bowl and the hot plate and the frying pan and I also have some spatulas and other utensils. This is the best thing that I found for eggs. You can find this in the camping section at Walmart. And you could hold a dozen eggs in here and they never break. This has been riding around in my cooler for a few weeks. And as you can see, none of the eggs have broke. Instead of um, purchasing, you know, eggs in a little six pack or whatever carton. And then it's going to go ahead and break. And you, if I can get a close up, you see the little prongs in here. That will hold against the top of the eggs and it closes up just like a suitcase and it doesn't you don't break the eggs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take two eggs i'm going to go ahead and crack them put them in the bowl and this is just like you regular make french toast at home i'm not doing really anything different i don't like cinnamon in my french toast so i'm not going to put cinnamon in there a lot of people put cinnamon uh cinnamon i mean and a little bit of vanilla in the french toast you can do that if you like i try to keep it real basic real simple so then i bought a little half, quarter of a gallon half a gallon of milk add a little milk in there and then i'm going to go ahead and whisk it up and beat it up so the i after i got done beating the eggs and the milk together this is how it looks and yes I do use plastic so you have to be very careful when you're using of course plastic utensils you know because they'll melt very easily so I turn on my burner and I set it to max and then I did put a little bit of you know this is margarine I use um, country crock and um, it it helps I do like butter I mean at least you know when you cook in your truck yourself you know what you're making so and you know what's in there there again you have to be very careful as far as using plastic um, I do you know my spatula is Teflon for I don't scratch the skillet and you just let the butter melt there again it's just like making um, French toast at home you just have to be careful of your surroundings you can't have the burner close to anything you see I have it away from um, my other things over there and you know it's pretty well set in the center once the butter gets melting real good you want to turn your burner down so it doesn't get the bread too done so I'm gonna turn it down oh till about four or so this one has a max setting of five And I'm having to hold the camera, so from time to time I'm having to um, pause it and then start again. 
So I'm just letting the butter melt. Um, I've cooked steak in the truck, um, but you do have to let uh, roll down the windows because it does get kind of smoky. So, um, so now the butter is good and melted. And you can see this little burner gets pretty hot. So like I said, you have to be careful. Turn it down some more so you're not burning anything. So now I have my bread. And I'm going to dredge it in the eggs and the milk. And then I just flip it over. It don't take very long because then it'll get too soggy. And I place it in the pan. And I like this bigger pan because you could cook more than just one slice at a time. Or eggs or anything like that. And you could cook, if you're cooking for uh, two, you and your co-driver, spouse, boyfriend, whatever, you know, you could cook both at the same time. So I'm going to let that brown and we'll be right back. So as you can see, this only took a second or two and they're browning pretty quick. Again, I have to turn down, I'm on three, and I already have to turn it down some more because it's frying just a little bit too fast for me. Can I turn it down to almost two? I buy the bigger um, wax paper plates. Um, it's the Dixie paper plates because then you don't have to worry about like cutting through the paper plate. And even Walmart has, I like like Aunt Jemima syrup or something like that. And they have even the real small travel size bottles now of Aunt Jemima syrup that you can um, get that aren't very big. I'll show you that the next time I make French toast or an uh, update to this video. And you see how nice and brown that the French toast is getting. And there again, my spatula that I have. And... If you don't want to do that, as far as um, keeping syrup and that kind of thing in your truck, you can always go to McDonald's and get a couple extra syrups when they have when they serve breakfast in the morning, and keep those couple little packages in your truck. And today, that's what I'm going to use. So you just pick it up. And it gets kind of tricky because it's slippery and I'm not, you know, no chef by any means. You see how nice and brown it's getting. I, like I said, I don't like to have, I like to have my food just done and not burnt. You know, not extra, extra, extra burnt. And you can make sausage, you can make, you know, a side of ham, anything like that that you want. And I still have egg left over, so these two pieces I'm going to, are done cooking put them on the plate and I'll make myself a couple more so I'll have breakfast this morning when all the other drivers they're you know the only thing they have here at this loves in Dodge City is a Chester's and there's a Flying J down the street but I don't dare go in there you know it's one of the older Flying J's I didn't even look at the restaurant yeah I'm flipping this quite often like I said because I don't want it to get extra extra brown and there again I only have the setting like on you know two and a half so this is how, you know, quick this little electric burner heats, and it heats up good. And before you put it back in the package, now I always keep my boxes. So I have the box here with all of the packing and everything, and this is a picture of the box. Sorry, that was the Spanish side. Let me get to the English side. And that's the mainstays, and there's a picture of the box and the little burner that I bought. I have the plastic, I have the packaging and everything so it doesn't get damaged. I like to keep that and put it all back, but you have to let it cool. Get it good and cold before you pack it back up again. So you can't, you know, I would do this when you get up in the morning. Now today my load isn't ready, so I have time. I have time to make myself some breakfast, which is a nice change. If I'm in a hurry, then I'll have, I have Raisin Bran and bowls and stuff, and then I'll just grab a bowl of Raisin Bran. So I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to lose weight because, as you know, a lot of us drivers are overweight, and it's really tough to eat out on the road and eat healthy. So here's my bread, and I'm going to go ahead and repeat this my same process, and this is how I made French toast in my truck. So I hope you all enjoy, and bon appetit.